Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is a mature senile cataract. Let us observe management of this case. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome. Fecal massification has been planned for this case. One side port is made on the left side of the main incision. And now an air bubble is injected to fill up the anterior chamber. Tripan blue dye is applied underneath this air bubble to stain the anterior capsule. Pupil is not well dilated, so a bit of adrenaline is injected. The dye is washed out. At this time, the size of the pupil is adequate. And as we inject visco and fill up the anterior chamber, the size of the people is about 6 millimeter. And now I start doing capsular excess. Capsular excess is fine, but see what happens as I go near 6 o'clock. Here it is. There is a fibrous band and it takes the rexus margin under the iris and up to the equator of the capsular back. And I cannot bring it back. So, what to do now? I make a side port at 7 o'clock. I take a scissor, vitreous micro scissor, and cut the capsule along with the fibrous band underneath. I thought this much cutting is fine. I try again with uterata, but it is still attached to the underlying fibrous band. So I go again into the antechamber with the scissor, cut a little more, and now. I can complete the rexis. And now I have a very weak area of the rexis at 7 o'clock or 6 30 o'clock. As I do hydrodissection, I find that the people has become very small. Size of the people is about 3.5 millimeter now. At this stage, I decide not to do fecal emulsification in this case. Inject some more visco and I decide to convert to small incision cataract surgery. I place a superior erectus brittle suture. This helps me in making the sclerocorneal tunnel. It keeps the eyeball stable and comfortably I can do sclerocorneal tunnel. A small radial cut undermine the conjunctiva. In this case I find a thick tenons capsule underneath. We should cut along the limbus. And now, for bipolar cautery, we should guard the margin of the conjunctiva with a bud. The conjunctiva should not get burnt by the cautery. The conjunctiva will shrink and healing will be of different kind. And now, I make a quite large incision because the nucleus is quite hard. Size of this incision is about 7 millimeter or 7.5 millimeter. 
make a sclerocorneal tunnel. As I go to the left side, the side port, from the side port some amount of visco leaks out. As I go to the right side, some more amount of visco leaks out through the main wound. And now, I inject some more visco. I take the keratome and open the sclerocorneal tunnel. We should cut when we go forward. And now, hydrodissection is not much necessary. Just little bit of hydrodissection I did because if I do a lot of hydrodissection and the fluid pressure can cause extension of the rexis posteriorly. Some more visco and now I have to prolapse the nucleus from the capsular bag, prolapse it in the anterior chamber. I try with a Sinsky hook, it does not come out. So, I take two hooks, I have to do it with, I have to hold it with two hooks and pull it out of the bag. So, I hold it with two hooks and pull it out of the capsular bag. Yes, it has come out. And now my next step is to deliver this nucleus with fish hook. Whenever there is rexis run out, irrigating vectus better be avoided because the irrigation pressure may cause some extension of the rexis posteriorly. With fish hook, we can easily remove the nucleus as it has been done. When the wound size is adequate, the nucleus comes out very easily. And then the cortex and the rest of the lens matter is removed. I go through the main incision, main frequentation and try to remove some cortex. Then I go through the incision which I made at 7 o'clock and through this incision I could very nicely remove the cortex from the superior aspect. Now I go through the side port which I made at around 2 o'clock and all the cortex has been hopefully removed. And now I inject visco that is 2 percent hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose and in, I implant uh, PMMA lens polymethyl methacrylate 6 millimeter optic intraocular lens. This is Liberty lens from Upper Sami Associates. I have no financial interest in the product. The lens is placed just under the iris. I do not bother at this time whether it is going in the bag or in the sulcus. Wherever it is goes, it is fine. If the optic covers the pupillary area, it is fine. Little bit of decentration will not cause much harm. If the patient gets reasonably good vision, the patient is happy. And now, let me speed up the surgery. At this time, the surgical speed is double, two times the normal speed. 
I am placing a X suture and burying the knot. We must remember this that this knot should not be tight. If it is tight, then fluid will leak from either side. If it is of optimum tension, so that the anterior leaf and posterior leaf is just opposed, then astigmatism will be less and healing will be good and there will be no leakage of aqueous humor. There will be no own leak from either side of this X suture. So, this has to be very nicely balanced. This much tension is fine. Why did I put this? Because this is a large wound and if I do not put this, the patient will have lot of astigmatism, maybe about two diapters of astigmatism. Old patients are usually having astigmatism against the rule and this is a superior wound. That astigmatism will be aggravated if I do not put this suture, particularly when I have made a large wound. That is why I placed this suture. And now the antechamber is nicely formed. All the visco is nicely washed out and a releasable suture is placed. Before that, I am going to inject gentamicin and dexamethasone so that the there is some chemosis and conjunctiva goes near the limbus. And now I am putting two releasable sutures on either side of the wound. You may oppose by very mild cautery, but I prefer this prefer this releasable suture to application of cautery. One more releasable suture on the left side. This may not be placed. One releasable suture is okay, but to do a perfect job, we cannot do perfect job. We can always try to be excellent. So, to do a better job, I placed on more releasable suture on the left side and now the case is concluded. These are some post-op pictures after three days. Cornea is clear, antechamber is quiet, people is round and central and see the opposition of the conjunctiva to the limbus by two releasable sutures. Excellent opposition. The X suture at the middle is very nice corneal contour is not altered. Thank you very much for your attention.